And my first and foremost goal is to use my, my almond and get the tub all redone. You know, wherever I need to, and, and even down here at the bottom, from, from the tub on up to the tile. Usually, tubs are white. Well, a lot of them are white. So if this tub was uh, white and not almond, and even though the tiles were almond, what I would end up doing is put white caulking down at the bottom, a nice little bead all the way around and have it look nice and fresh and it's the same color as the tub. But because the tub is almond, I'm gonna go along the bottom. You see how it's looking a little tired? Okay, I'm gonna go along the bottom and I'll caulk that too. And anywhere, like right in here, it doesn't look like the tile, the grout is, is cracked or anything, but it looks like it's in, indentated a little bit further than some of the other grout lines. And so I'll look at that, see, see how this tile here looks, looks a little dark along the edges. That's because you, you see it's just a little edge of the edge of the tile and it makes it look black or darker color. So see, I'll look at that because like that tile, I could put some, a little bit of caulking. And so I'll go through here. Here's another little line right there and right there. There's one right there, that little bit, see? And I can, I can check those. And then I wanna, I wanna look, see up, up in here looks, up in here looks actually real good up here. And uh, like, like down in here though, see next to that um, here's a little bit I'm, I'm trying to show you I've got my I've got my camera on my tripod and my legs on the tripod are out all the way here I'll turn the, I'll turn the camera sideways see there's that line there's I'm gonna redo and uh, you know down there I, I'll, I'll look at it all and you know it's probably gonna take me a couple hours. It'll take me a couple hours to do all this, but that's okay. Uh, Momi's out on a spa day today, getting a facial and some other stuff worked on. And, and uh, she says, hey, you wanna go with me to the spa? And I said, I looked at her with a funny look on my face and I'm like, uh, didn't you want me to caulk the tub? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, okay. Well, so that's what I'm doing. And so I've got a little bit of prep work to do first, and then I'm gonna get in on doing the caulking. And the most important thing on caulking, what is one of the most important things? Before I open this tube, this is a brand new tube, and when I open it, I want a, I want a small hole. I don't want it too big of a hole. If I cut this too big, I just screwed up because I don't want I don't want a, a, a big caulking tube because lots of my stuff are gonna be small little lines, right? Especially in the grout and stuff. I'll try to get this as small as small as I can and then I may, I may end up trimming it just a hair more when I put the bead back down at the bottom of the tub, okay? That's really important to do and that's why, that's why I've got that's why I've got my uh, my Homer bucket here. Let's do this. I'm like, let's do it. Okay, that's why I have this here. So I'm gonna put some water in it, and then as I as I caulk and wipe off some of the excess if I need to, I get my finger a little bit wet, get it on the sponge, wipe it off any little bit of caulking and then dab it and then I might wipe it off on my on my wrist or something or right here on my arm or something I do that a lot when I'm when I'm caulking too and then I'll rinse it off and then I got a I, I got a bucket and, and put a little bit of water in there and then I've got my rag in case I need that and stuff and be prepared for your job when I get done with this job I want it to look like I was never here other than the fact, never here, meaning it looks professional and it looks like it's done correctly, okay? 
That's how you want to leave your projects. When you, when you do a project, hey, you know what? It might take you a little bit longer to do a project like that, but overall, it's going to look nicer. Because down here on the bottom, I, you know, I could leave that and I could just caulk it where it's missing. I could, put, I could put a little bit of caulking right there and leave it. And I could put a little bit over here and leave it. But you know what? It's just one line. I think I can get this caulking off pretty good. And it looks like whoever, whoever did it before, they left the line up here. The caulking, it got, it got a kind of big and it's way over on the, on the floor tile that far. My bead is going to be in there closer, okay? And so I can see, I can see too, right in here, the bead is kind of wide and it's kind of come out. You see that? It's come out to about there. Then in here, it's, it's, it's closer to being tight. Well, that's because they wiped it and they started right there. And then they got too much buildup on their finger. Instead of wiping it off to run your finger some more, it built up. And then it just, where did it go? It just went down on this tile and made this line longer and, and fatter. Okay? So because I'm, because I'm doing a little bit, and my almond might be slightly different than this. And, and theirs goes way up on the, on the, on the, uh, the tub. It goes, comes up, you know, almost three-eighths of an inch there. So that's why I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean that off really good. And lots of times... It only takes a little bit longer to do something right than it does to just leave it and say, ah, oh, that's fine. You know, when, when, it, when it gets done and somebody says, oh yeah, didn't, doesn't that look good? And someone else says, oh yeah, who did that? Joe did that, doesn't it look good? And somebody might say, yeah, it looks like crap. They think that in their mind. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, it looks okay. Uh-huh, yeah, I see. And, but secretly, they're saying, why didn't he do a better job than that? You know, I want you to get into the habit of not having people say that under their breath when you get done with one of your little projects at home, okay? And that's what my videos are all about on my channel. I try, I try to go through, I try to, sometimes maybe I talk too much, maybe I explain too much, may, you know, but for the average beginner, I think they appreciate that. Maybe somebody who, who's more adapt to knowing how to do it. Uh, they're like, well, how can you go into so, so much detail? I already know that. Why are you telling me that? My, my, and my response to that would be, well, if you know all of that stuff anyways, why are you watching my video? You know, my video is, my, my videos are, in, uh, the intent is to make somebody who really doesn't know anything, who doesn't know how to use a caulk gun, who doesn't know how to, how to fix this, who, who, wants to save the money from having to call someone. If you called someone out to do this, they'll probably charge you 200 bucks to get this done. Or re-grout and, and, and they might talk you into grouting because they didn't know about the caulking, right? And maybe it cost you $250. You didn't know any better because you didn't know how to do it. You didn't know what a caulking gun is. You didn't know how to use one of these caulk guns even though they're less than five bucks at the hardware store and this is this is like six bucks you didn't know any of that you just called someone they told you 250 bucks you said oh okay and you know and if you don't have the money then then it just sits because you didn't know how to use this and now you know if I leave this like this I'm gonna get I'm gonna get more things in here when when the water comes down you get water in there and maybe you you uh, have it start draining down the wall maybe you get a crack down in there or it runs down here you, you've seen this here it runs down here it's gonna get the it's getting the floor wet you've seen where the the caulking has loosened up here here the caulking's loosened up here it can go down underneath the floor right there it can start saturating this and if you got OSB uh, plywood uh, for your flooring, uh, maybe that is going to uh, start lifting and, and expanding and then all of a sudden your floor, your floor starts to buckle. All because you didn't have caulking down there? Yeah. So, hey, if you're going to do caulking, do it right, okay? If you want to see what this looks like when I get done, I mean, I'll show you how to use the caulking too and how to use the caulk gun and stuff. And so... I'll, I'll have more to this video and then at the end of the video I'll show you um, what the tub looks like and all the, 
all the uh, grout lines and all that, okay? Stick around, I've got more to show you, okay? So right now, I'm gonna do all the prep work and get this cleaned up and ready for the new caulking.